Hello Stampers, today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, treat box. Um, this is the front of the treat box. I used the Wild About You stamp set. Here is the side view. And then inside, I just have some trail mix I put in there. So the first thing you want to start out with is you want to cut a piece of cardstock at 12 inches by 4 inches. And I did more mustard. And then you want to cut another piece of cardstock at 10 by 1.5. I did pumpkin pie. I'm going to set this aside for a minute. You're going to, I already scored these, but I'm going to go over the scoring measure, measurements. You want to score from this end to here at 5 and a quarter. And then you want to flip it around and score again from here to the scored line at 5 and a quarter again. And then you're going to fold up on those scored lines. And then what you want to do next is take your 10 by 1 and a half piece and going from this end you want to score it 2 inches and then score it at 3 and a half inches. Then you're going to flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. Go to 2 inches and then 3 and a half inches. And then you're going to want to make sure those are folded good too. And then before you start putting the actual box part together, you want to decorate the front of your box. So what I did is uh, I took a piece of chocolate chip cardstock and I cut it at five and three and three quarters. I ran it through the big shot with the texture kit four and gave the chocolate chip a little bit of a corrugated texture. And I put some sticky strip on the back because I want it to hold on there good. And then I just placed it on what's going to be the front of my box. Then the next thing I did is I took the giraffe from the Wild About You stamp set and I stamped the giraffe in more mustard on a piece of Whisper White that is 2 by 3 And then on a scratch piece I stamped another giraffe and then I punched out the little holes. And then I attached them on top of it with the dimensionals. Then I cut a piece of pumpkin pie to two and a quarter by three and a quarter, and then a piece of more mustard to two and a half by three and a half. And I layered them on, and then I took the chocolate chip ink and I sponged it around the edges just to finish it off. Then I put some dimensionals on the back because I wanted this to pop up off the front of my box. And I want to just place it a little bit right there. You gotta save room for where you're gonna tie your ribbon through to close your box. And then the next thing I did was I stamped Wild About You and Chocolate Chip on some Whisper White. I punched it out with the Word Window Punch. I sponged it with some more mustard ink. And then I put um, dimensionals on the back of that. And then you're just gonna place that down here at the bottom. Now it comes for the inside of the box. You want to take some sticky strip and put that on here. You want this to hang on really tight. So you're going to put a piece here and you're going to put a piece here. So you're going to put the piece here, a sticky strip, and a piece of sticky strip there. And you're just going to peel that off, the backing off. And then you're just going to come in and make a square, or a rectangle I should say, with the inside piece. So you're going to have that. Then the next thing you want to do is take some more sticky strip, because you want this to hold good. And you're going to put, you can do however much sticky strip you want. I'm going to put some on both sides. And the next thing you want to do is rip this uh, the backing off. And then you're going to bring this in here 
And you want to put this right at the scored line in the center there. Just like that. Press down good so it holds. And then you're going to flip this up. And I'll do it from the side view so you can kind of see it better. You want to do the same thing again. Press down good inside there. And then you're going to want to take a punch big enough to punch two holes at the top to tie your ribbon through. Just like that. And then what I did is I took a piece of quarter inch pumpkin pie grow grain. And I just fed that through there. What I always do is I leave the ribbon attached to the roll so I don't waste any. Because then I just pull it as long as I need it. And you can do a bow, double knot, fancy bow, whatever you want. I'm just doing a knot. And snip the ends off. And there you go. You've created this little treat box. Thank you.